Okay, another take on actually recording this and showing my progress on the first village of this game that I'm making. Grah! My love, you have required a potion from the peculiar spirit. Return to me, my love. The peculiar spirit seems to be cleaning what you think is a room. He smells of mint. It's an alien creature whose corpse has been preserved with a formaldehyde and reeks of rancid meat. It has been, for some reason, a part of your room. The only thing considered normal or human in this room is this bed. It faintly smells of earwax. Oh, you're awake! Feel free to walk around. I'll be here making breakfast. First possible important character that gets a cutscene here is this nice old lady that's letting you sleep in this house. I wish I had more to say about it, but as you can tell, if you go upstairs, let me try that again. If you go upstairs, you see it kind of looks like a sim serum plus science. And if, you're, if you don't get what I meant by Simseru, then you probably didn't grow up with the same experience of going to Conkrum in Legend of Ligaya like I did. Oh well. Say la vie. And here is actually kind of like a normal house. With like normal generic RPG maker stuff. There's wine. There's a croissant with an egg. And some coffee. Thing of apples and a large thing of bread and there's some wine up there that is probably cooking wine it's books let's go downstairs and see what's going on over here here it's a little bit different well not sort of different no here's what I mean you know that there's like two like evil or no there's like at least three evil aligned character sprites here, but they're all peaceful in this take. Now here's what happens when you speak to this human. It's a human girl. She is harmless. Now this time, the humans in this universe kind of speak a different language than the demons, so I did like an impromptu pick up language to use as the default for the humans in this universe. And I picked Russian because Cold, Cold War era fear combined with thinking that Russia is a cool language. This human seems happy to see the sky. human seems to be warning you about the dog. Now for some reason, this couple right here, I did not expect to make this another subplot in the beginning village, but I did. My human loves collecting animals. We found this dog in the rubble and healed his wounds. I probably would soon bed him and eat him because he is too kind for death. Was that too much? Yes it was. That was some TMI. You didn't need to tell me that. Also, I kind of cheated. Woof, woof. It's a friendly dog. Pet him? Yes. While he's fond of demons, you felt happy and relieved of the stress. Guess what? This is the emergency heal button. This is the heal button right here. The heal button is this dog. So, yeah. Awkward subplot somehow made here, combined with heal dog. And I think I just ruined this game for people. He is talking about the possibility his master is reforming. This is a bad sign. If people don't know what reforming is, it's basically kind of like the reverse fallen angel trope. Basically, when a demon reforms, they kind of become human. Not exactly angel, since, you know... They kind of, like, burned that bridge a long time ago, but 
Yeah. Rumors are spreading about my fiancé. I'm afraid to ask what they are all about. Most Jean don't like asking anything of humans. In turn, they'll ask us for something. Oh yeah, this is actually supposed to be like an evil Jean, but in an RPG maker, I bet you he's actually just an evil sultan. Regardless, I kind of wanted to do something cool with the Arabian aesthetic of this sultan, so I kind of made him like a generic Jean. You look like an unwelcome guest to the dock, but he is only on guard right now. So yeah, this house is associated with that couple with the subplot and the heel dog. <sighs> this cat understandably scratched you. So you kind of lost one damage from this cat. I am sorry. The human doesn't seem fond of the demon outside. Yeah, that's... Yeah, there's a reason. If you if anyone knows Russian, then you probably understand what this subplot is about. Gonna circle around the subplot couple again. Now here's a now there's gonna be another important character in here. It's also gonna be a subplot, and I was gonna do like a one-time choice here for this character. So let's go. Now, here you have this guy. Please do not tell on Lady. This well-meaning vagabond must be pretending to be May's pet human. I might change his, or I may want to change his design a little bit, but all is well. And this is the important character I was mentioning. And if you hear what she says, it gives you a choice, and it kind of helps you on alignment a little bit. Hey, Casper! Listen, no one knows I'm a human yet. They all still think I'm an Alron. I don't know how long I'll tell this lion. I don't want to be eaten up like my brothers and father. Will you promise me to help me find a means to escape? I'm gonna click on yes. Ah, thank heavens! Basically, if you say, like, there's only gonna be one time you answer this question. If you said no, then, like, I don't know how to program that one-time choice thing. But if you said no, she'll remain silent, and then the when you leave, and the next time that she is in this room, or the next time you enter this house, she and the Vagabond will be gone. That's what I was planning. But I don't know how to code yet, so... If anyone knows how to code that in, let me know. Because that is gonna, like, help out. I might do, like, an alignment thing, too. There will come a day we will destroy the humans, but for right now they make perfect companions for children. Now this guy, he's got some issues, but I ain't bothering with it right now. Hey, need to know what's going on? Yes. Okay, are you prepared to see the coolest thing I've done in this program yet? And I didn't do a lot of programming for it. Are you ready for it? Good. Long ago, demons and angels fought a war for the earth. In the onslaught, humans were cold and the survivors now live as fodder for demons. The war between demons and angels will evermore. The humans that side with angels are forever trapped in forbidden machines. Where we live is territory. The humans here have a limited time to live among us. As we are now starving from this war, we may have never ended. So you see, the only explanation on why you're here is because we are winning. Okay, that was like a pretty fun thing that I did. I was hoping to have like scrolling text a la Legend of Lagaya, but that didn't happen. I'm hoping this is also a one-time thing as well. But if you ever- but yeah, I might keep it just in case because I think it's pretty cool. Now this is actually the- yep, this is the shop for demon warriors. I wrote that. I am not cringing. Not at all. No, I actually wrote Japanese for the Playboy Bunnies here because... Well, I doubt anyone in Russia would run around in sleepy bunny wear. Especially because of the weather. This human feels melancholy. She must have already been bought. This human shows fear. She is pressed reasonably high, so she must be a luxury livestock. Uh, 
yeah, so there's like lots of demons eating humans in this place. Ah, stranger, welcome to my humble abode. Feel free to buy anything for a small fee. This is actually the shop. Right now it only has of the original shop in Legend of Legaya where they only sold items, so I figured I'd share that little bit. But for your contributions, my good friend. That was my attempt at a money bag, and I failed. I am sorry. Now, I've been having issues with this little thing here, and now I'm going to show you what I have done because I hopefully fixed it. one guy in here so far. Let's talk to him. <laughs> this is a human possessed by the Biomex being experimented on in this facility. He seems threatened, so won't attack. So, fun fact, I tried to make a Seru monster, a la Legend of Lagaya, where it's a human possessed by a Seru, but it didn't work out because RPG Maker kind of fails. Maybe someday I will ask someone to make a Seru monster from Legend of Lagaya in RPG Maker. But for right now, no. Now let's actually enter the dungeon. The actual dungeon. The dungeons. Ah, Casper, welcome to the dungeon. This is basically a small test to see if this dungeon functions properly. If the monsters are too strong, you'll feel, feel free to leave. I haven't seen a monster in here yet. What's up? Oh! Puppet emerged! Just like off. I think I'm gonna place them in the turning. I like how it's the first monster in this dungeon. 
that was longer than I thought. And here are the stairs. There's nothing upstairs yet. Try moving around downstairs. Yeah, I'm gonna actually put the actual characters that I really wanted in this game. Which, spoiler alert, or my OC.
Plan for what's going to happen next over there. Oh, puppet again. Let's fight, I guess. stairs are where the main cast should be but yeah I think that was it with the shenanigans in here let's go back to heel dog heel dog come back here heel dog you know the friendly dog pet him? yes well he isn't fond of demons he felt happy and he relieved of stress Yay! Done with the heel dog, so... What does this have to say about what's going on down here? I don't know. Who knows? But pretty soon, hopefully, I'll have a better grasp of RPG Maker. And possibly better sprites? In that case, toodaloo!